going on, YouTube? Today is Saturday, October 17th, 2015. I've hey, got to tell you. Hey, YouTube and YouTube bets out there, YouTube land. Alright, I'm coming back with a quick recap. I'm going to try and make this fast. I uh, pulled out a small stack of stuff that I've been getting in still, and I still got... Unfortunately, I still got like two boxes of stuff to show, but... Um, so let's get to it. BAT card of Al Bum Bummer. Find that one. As typical Al, he always sends his extra. With him with the Orioles. Next, hockey success. Reggie Lemlin. This one took about five days because he does live in Massachusetts. So he's super fast for that. Next, Doug Jones with the PTL. Praise the Lord. Signed those two. Signed 88 Donruss. And he enclosed his own religious card right there. Next, this one I sent to the minor leagues. This is a uh, World of Sports upper deck. Uh, Jordan Danks. Sign that one. Next, minor leaguer for the Red Sox back in the day. Rick Lentz Salatino. Salatina. Signed his AAA card. Excuse me, I so scratched my ear. Next, paid success. I think he charges like a buck or I mean, I think it's a dollar a card. No, two dollars a card, three for five, or six for ten, or something like that. So I sent him five bucks and he signed the three. And it's Dennis Leonard. I had these laying around. Cheap money just to get him signed and tucked away. Next. Uh, three of three. Which were interesting um, scripts on these. Mark Leiter. This is Andy. Good luck. Mark Leiter. Next, Andy, best wishes, Mark Leiter. And finally, I think I messed up on my letter. I said, um, I remember you on the Mets, which I think I accidentally made a mistake. And he wrote, Andy, I never played for the Mets, Mark Leiter. I do mess up once in a while, and I apologize if he watches this. Next, uh, Bill Andrum. Sign. Three, uh, three. Keith, Keith Brown signed his AAA card. Kim Batista signed his AAA card. Another paid success. I think he charges. Wait, do I get here three? Um, I think he charges five bucks a card to sign. I sent him ten bucks and three cards, and he signed all three. Kevin Isla, and most importantly, he signed his. Um, my league card of 1985 Mets. Elser. Elser. What did I say? Isla Elser. Next, Sean Barton. Sign 101. And next, I got a cool note. Handwritten note from Romario Williams, who plays uh, soccer. A lot of my letters, my son plays soccer and baseball, and my other sons play a crap load of sports. So I always add, hey, if you have any advice for them, you know, can you include it? The soccer players, all, probably 80% of them wrote back letters with advice. A couple of baseball, but mostly soccer guys. Um, next, 3 of 3, Joe Oliver. I believe I sent these to the Pawtucket Red Sox. I believe he's the. One of the coaches down there. Yeah. All right. X three of three from Greg Olson. Sign those two. And a Tidewater tie. Tidewater. That's. Yeah. X Bob Ellen Lena. Again, this was like four days because I believe he lives down on the Cape. So that's only about uh, about an hour drive from there. Another Tidewater, Tom Lombarski. That one. Rusty Coops. 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 Yeah. Come. Come. Sorry. Ken Hill, Massachusetts native. 
believe it from Lynn. Yep, from Lynn. Next, Bucky Bleep and Dent. Send the BAT card. I sent him three. He signed one. It's fine. I think he kept the other two. I'm thinking about it, yeah. Next, Dallas Brandon. I sent it to ESPN where he's an analyst. He signed that one. I believe he has a perfect game under his belt, too. Another paid success, uh, Gaylord Perry. I believe I sent him 10 bucks for that one. Next, everyone's favorite signer, Hall of Famer, who I believe is 97 years old now. And his autograph is definitely showing it now. Um, the great Bobby Doerr signed his playing card. And as you can see, the Bobby's getting shorter, the B's right, but the door is just a scribble now. But you know what? Hey, he's been signed. Awesome. I'm looking up at a... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, better signature. He, see, he didn't have the D. Oh, he put the B, then the D right there. I'm looking up. I have one on the wall. <laughs> I'm looking up at it. Uh, yeah, actually, it's, kind of, it's pretty close. Now I'm looking at it. I thought it was spelled out more. All right, next uh, from the World Series, um, Johnny Damon, signed two or two. Next, this was an interesting one. Oh, that came back on the sign. Um, I saw that he was a independent coach um, manager down in North Dakota, and I just wanted to grab him before he left. I sent it about a week before the season ended, so it left Massachusetts on Friday. I actually got him back from North Dakota on Tuesday, I believe. And it's Ozzy Canseco. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was, so. It was one, two, three, like five days round trip, and I got him in time before the season ended. So if you see that he's managing someplace next season, send to him because he does sign pretty good um, to the team. And I believe to this day, I still believe I met Ozzy Canseco when I met Jose Canseco. Um, Jose was doing a boxing match in Massachusetts. He was at a show, Wicked Cheap. I think it was $10 a card. And I've got like eight card signs I need for all my sets. And no one talked to him. All the other famous, uh, baseball players wouldn't talk to him. He had sunglasses. And I was, he was signing my cards and I said jokingly to him, you're not Ozzy, are you? And he kind of looks up at me and goes, no, I'm Jose. Then he went back signing. And he wasn't too happy taking pitches with people. He was like, just quickly do it. You know, he kind of had the gl big glasses on. And I'm like, I really think that was Ozzy signing for Jose. And about a week later, or two weeks later, he was doing another boxing match, which Ozzy showed up pretending to be Jose. So that's why I think it really was Ozzy, not Jose. Anywho, but um, let's see. Let me just grab a couple more so I can get rid of these things. Um, Next... Ron Kittle. Right, two or two. Let's try and get up to nine minutes. Next, uh, Frank Bullock signed one, and he sent an extra, which is a nice one because it's a Japanese Japanese league card. The back of it's all in Japanese. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Next, Jason Fleiss. The tie water card, and he sent the nice. Letter to go along with it. Take it. I just passed nine minutes and I said I win it. Mike Cubbage. And that tie water cut. And finally, well, two more. Ed Glenn. Sign that one. And finally, Lance Johnson. Oh, he signs it. Oh, Johnson with number one dog. He was great back in the day. I really like number one dog. All right. That should do it. Hope everyone's having a great time. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, happy trails. Oh, one last thing before I leave. Godfather, thank you for showing that you got this individual back. So I've been holding on to this DVD for a long ass time. And his listing on Star Tiger was always in gray, which I always thought meant no active address. But I guess the address is active on it. But thanks for Engelberg. I got my Mac yesterday.
about two weeks out. Anything like that. Alright, so Godfather, thank you for that tip when you showed them on yours. Alright, hope everyone's doing good. Have a good day.